You guys are both just almost a year removed from high school. What has these first few months as a professional been like for the two of you? Um, you know, it's it's been awesome so far. Uh, first first full season's going great, um, and in, you know it helps to have guys like Joey and some of the younger high school pitchers we have, like uh, Bryce Wilson, around. Uh, you know, to kind of all go through it together and help each other out. Joey. Yeah, I mean, I echo what Ian said. Um, you know, last season it was kind of like a short taste, and then this season with going through spring training and then going through, you know, kind of the start to first full season. So it's been great so far, uh, you know, just trying to soak everything up and, you know, have a, have a successful season. As the top two picks for this organization in 2016, both prep arms, you were always going to transition up the ranks together. But knowing each other from the 2015 USA Tournament of Stars, you're on the same team that year. Did it help having a familiar face to kind of go through this with? And uh, how, how helpful was that knowing each other at least a little bit from that one week? Uh, it, it was cool. Um, you know, it's always tough, you know, getting thrown into a new situation, you know, going reporting down to Orlando, you know, after you get drafted. And, um, you know, it's great to see Joey again and, and Kyle Muller, who was also on that team. Um, so it was just cool and, and kind of gave you, you know, made you a little more comfortable, you know, with the whole situation and let you settle in a lot faster. What was your first impressions of one another, and ha how far, ha how much have you grown over these two years? Uh, at TOS, I was probably the quiet one, but like I, I played first behind Ian at TOS, and like obviously, like you know, we don't, we aren't getting many balls, so you know he's, he's good. He's he's getting a lot of strikeouts. So yeah, that was, I mean, Joey Joey didn't pitch, so um, you know I, I didn't know much about him as a pitcher, but I heard he was lights out, and he's shown that so far. So. Um, it's, it's been cool, you know, just to get to know all the guys a lot better. Joey, we'll start with you here. Has there been that moment as you've been basically a working adult, has there been kind of that eye-opening moment like, oh, God, I'm on my own now? Um, a little bit last summer. Uh, I got a department uh, under my name, so that was probably like the first kind of like thing. It was like, okay, uh, not at home anymore. But, um, yeah, not too much. I, I mean... Um, other than, you know, you're gone all summer, all your friends are home from school, and then once you go back, though, you know, you see them all, and um, I still live at home, so, um, you know, just for the summer, really. Ian, it was laundry, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my mom did my laundry growing up, so, uh, you know, it's just something you're going to have to learn. This organization has just stockpiled pitching, and last year here at Rome, they just sprinted to the South Atlantic League title. Is there a certain standard that uh, when you're following the Colby Allards and the Mike Sorokas that they've set here that you almost consciously or subconsciously feel like you need to follow? Yeah, uh, definitely. Um, I mean, even guys like Freed last year and Weigel who are here, uh, that's, that's four guys that the way they're throwing right now have a chance to be in the majors in the next two years. So um, it's definitely a standard that, that you want to live up to, but uh, at the same time, you can't put too much pressure on yourself. Uh, it's a long season. You're going to have your ups and downs. So um, just got to keep, keep the pedal to the metal, and you know, hopefully things will work out for you. Now, Kyle Muller isn't here yet, but obviously Bryce Wilson pitching well, Ryan Lawler, Jeremy Walker. Can you guys give us scouting reports and the other guys in this rotation? Um, you know, all three of those guys are really good. Um, all three are, you know, different pitchers with, with Lawler being a lefty. Um, then Bryce, you know, he's got a really good, really good two-seam sinker. And then Walker, you know, throws three, three, four pitches. So anytime you can, can do that. Um, it's going to be tough on the hitter, so we're pretty fortunate right now. You know, all five guys are throwing the ball pretty well, and, um, you know, all, all, I think all the only thing we try to do is, you know, just give our team a chance to win, and, um, you know, we're, we're doing, doing all right right now. What about scouting reports on each other? Ian, how does, how does Joey, you've been with him basically yeah. a year now, like, how does Joey have 90 strikeouts and 78 innings in the minors? Uh, I mean, first thing, you know, he throws a lot of strikes, keeps the ball low. Uh, then I'd say that the changeup that he has is just, it's a big league pitch right now. So, um, you know, good arm speed, good good command of it. So, um, it's definitely the equalizer pitch for him and gets a ton of strikeouts with that. Uh, vice versa, how does Ian have this yeah. sub 2 5 ERA yeah, right now? Right. In the uh, yeah, I chart him. So, I'm, I'm, it's pretty fun to see the see the big velos go up. And then also, you know, when, when it's a 2 0 count and the hitter thinks fastball's coming, you know, curveball's coming or changeup's coming. And, um, you know, there's never really a sense of comfort for a lot of those hitters. Um, so, I mean, it's pretty, pretty, pretty freaking successful so far. <laughs> yeah. not, not necessarily each other, but you guys have both been in the organization now for a year. You've been down at spring. You've seen the big league guys, some of the top prospects coming up. If you could steal one pitch from any guy in this organization, it could be each other, 
which one would you be taking to add to your arsenal? Oh, man. I don't know. Probably, I mean, maybe probably Allard's curve. It's just, I mean, he just throws it. You know, it looks just like his fastball coming out and then just barrels out at the end. So, um, I mean, there's, there's so many so many plus pitches that, that guys throw, and you know, that's, that's why they're the prospects that they are. So, um, I mean, you can really can't go wrong. Joey? Um, if I could take one one pitch, and like you said, we have, you know, tens of guys that throw incredible pitches, but I would, I would say maybe maybe Freed's curveball just because I'm a lefty, he's a lefty, but, you know, um, you can't, can't go, I could pick five <laughs> pitches or five different guys that, that yeah. would work pretty, pretty nasty well, yeah. Oh, yeah, so. Nasty that's, a, that's a pretty hard question. Nasty stuff. Now, developing catching has been such a point of emphasis. Lucas Herbert and Brett Cumberland both here. What makes the two of them so effective at, at calling games in? Um, yeah, you know, they're they're just they stick to the game plan. Um, you know, they're, they're, they communicate very well with you know the pitching staff, and I think that's that's a huge part of you know being able to call a game and being able to be on the same page with their pitcher. So, um, and the coaching staff does a great job. You know communicating with them and communicating with us as well. Does Brett have any kind of an edge, though, having gone through and played at Cal? Does he have any more expertise when it comes to yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Um, you know, he's just, just older, you know, played the game a little longer, so I think, you know, that helps him out a little bit. But, um, you know, they're, they're both tremendous catchers, and um, our other catcher, Tanner Murphy, calls a great game as well, so. When you look around this organization, they've been fairly aggressive with promotions. You look at some of 19-year-olds uh, now at AA. When, if you had to pick one between moving up a level, moving up a prospect ranking, whatever it may be, or winning the South Atlantic League title, could, I, if you can't combine them all, which <laughs> yeah. one would you pick? Oh, man. Um, I think winning is important to everybody, so I, I think definitely winning would be up there. But also, you know, um, every, it's everyone's goal to get to the big leagues, so um, you got to get moved up to do that. So I would, I would say winning and then, you know, getting a promotion. I, I try not to really look at, you know, the prospect rankings too much because at the end of the day, you still have to go out and perform. And, you know, if you're a top five, top 10, top 20 prospect, no one really cares if, if you can't pitch. So um, I would say winning and going up a level. Uh, I mean, I have to agree with him. Definitely, definitely winning. You know, both of us coming from, you know, winning backgrounds. Um, it's, it's a high level of importance for, for both of us. So. Um, you know, at the end of the day, that's why you, why you take them out and you know, help your team uh, and give them a chance to win, win a ball game. Pitching helped propel Rome to a South Atlantic League title last year. Anderson and Wentz obviously part of a stout rotation once again. And it's not just talent, though. They're getting uh, some serious coaching from a former first-round pick in Dan Meyer. Yeah, former first-round pick in Meyer. His pick sandwiched between Jeff Francoeur and Brian McCann. He helped groom uh, South Atlantic League title rotation last season. He's got another good one on his hands this year. It's astounding to me um, to just to see that the talent that you know we had last year in, her, in Rome, and you know you think to yourself, this that's tough, that's gonna be tough to beat, and then you see the talent pool come in this year. I think you have to give that to you know not only to copy and some of the trades they made with Tukey and Max Fried, but Brian Bridges and Roy Clark and that side of it. You get a guy like Bryce Wilson and and Ian Anderson and Joey Wentz, and um, those guys are just. They're amazing, is and you know Jeremy Walker. I mean, all those guys, great arms that you find that you look at these guys and you're like, I mean, how do you find all these guys? They're they're, they're great, and it's just fun to watch. And it's fun to be a part of, and you know, it's fun to kind of work on these guys and develop. You do see the maturity at times, um, which you expect to see. But the one thing I see more, which I, I just can't fathom at that age, is, is how mature they are for their age, um, their pitchability, the way they the way they pitch shows maturity they, they're they pitch and, and and the way they act and they go about their work is is well beyond their years which is, is it's a great testament to you know the, not only those kids but to brian bridges and understanding the makeup and, and like i said it makes our job so much easier when you got guys that um you know aren't knuckleheads off the field or you know understand that what they got to do to be successful and they're here for one goal and that's the pitch in the big leagues